I'm Jeb Butler of the Butler Kind Law Firm. Last month, the Georgia Court of Appeals disapproved the Georgia pattern charge on preponderance of the evidence. And if you're a lawyer, that can be a big deal, and you probably understand why. We lawyers, when we ask a judge during trial to instruct a jury on the law in a certain way, often rely upon the pattern jury instructions, that is, what the Georgia Council of Superior Court judges have said a judge should, should tell the jury in most circumstances. Those are called pattern charges. Well, last month, um, the Georgia Court of Appeals said that those Superior Court judges who are trial-level judges got it wrong as to the preponderance of the evidence, that is, the evidentiary standard by which juries evaluate um, just about every civil case. So it's a big deal. Um, we actually found out about it when we were in court. Tom and I were getting ready to try a case. We were in a pretrial conference a few days before our trial started, and just a few days after the Court of Appeals issued this opinion, uh, disapproving the pattern charge on preponderance of the evidence. Let's take a look at the Court of Appeals opinion. You can see behind me there, it's White against Stanley. Uh, it was issued October 3 of 2023, and if we scroll on down past the head notes, we'll see some highlighted text. Um, I won't go through it all. This here is <clears throat> what the trial court in White against Stanley charged the jury, but the holding, disapproving the pattern charge is right here. Um, highlighted. The court concluded that the, the court's charge was improper, even though it tracked the current pattern jury instruction in a former uh, Georgia statute. That Georgia statute addressed preponderance, and it predated the 2013 overhaul to Georgia's evidence code, uh, which is why um, the Court of Appeals said that it was no longer good. I'm not totally sure I understand or concur with the court's reasoning, but it is nonetheless binding. Um, so the question becomes, what are we going to do now? Well, fortunately, the Court of Appeals didn't expressly say what to do, but gave a really strong hint. Um, the Court of Appeals was pretty good about pointing out what they, what they think would be proper, and they point us toward federal courts. And of course, that makes sense because Georgia's 2013 Evidence Code is based on the federal Evidence Code, and both of our appellate courts have been saying since it came out that we rely on federal decisions uh, when we interpret or apply the evidence code. And here, um, the Georgia Court of Appeals pointed us toward the pattern charge, um, or at least the holdings of the 11th Circuit, and then one holding from the Georgia Supreme Court. And the language they, they use is um, requires to believe the existence of a fact is more probable than its non-existence, or in the words of the Georgia Supreme Court, more likely true than not. So what is the proper charge? Well, we've come up with what we think the answer is, and I'll show it to you now. This is the special um, request to charge that our firm now uses for preponderance of the evidence in Georgia. It is based on the 11th Circuit pattern charge. Um, here's the language that we propose. You'll notice it tracks the appellate language that appeared in the White against Stanley opinion. And then at the bottom, we have our citation to the 11th Circuit pattern charge and to White against Stanley. We have the uh, regional reporter because the Georgia um, reporter hasn't yet published this case. If you need to take a look at this, you can find it through our website. Um, you would go here to the web page, go to resources, and then legal forms and go bys. If you look there, um, I guess my body blocks it a little bit. But this very first bullet point is preponderance of the evidence. The, this, link, this link will take you to the White against Stanley opinion, highlighted as we just saw it. And this link, our firm's new special request, will bring you to a pop-up um, that shows the pattern charge that we just talked about. I hope that's helpful. If you're out there trying cases, good luck to you, and I, I hope that helps.